Hi, good morning, guys. Let me welcome you to the channel. Good morning. I hope you're all doing great. Um, I'm literally in my pajamas. I wasn't ready to do this video, but hey, I felt led to record this video, so I am going to obey the spirit and just do it right. So yeah, let's let's just do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good morning, <clears throat> uh, and welcome to the channel. So. Whew. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know what I'm going to say, but hey, we have to record this video today because this Holy Spirit is leading me to record this video today. I wasn't supposed to. I am pretty much um, very emotional right now. I just, I don't know. I just have tears in my eyes, but I will record this video because I don't know. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel like a mess right now, but yeah. I'm recording this video because I, I I feel instructed to do so. I wouldn't usually record something like this, but yeah, I'm choosing to obey. <laughs> yeah, so I did a three-day Esther fast. It was a dry fast, no water, no uh, liquids. No water, no liquids. <laughs> no solids, no liquids. It was completely, completely dry. So, um, yeah, and a lot happened. A lot happened. Uh, that was actually just like a day ago <laughs> that was a day ago and during that fast i ended up watching this video on youtube where stephanie Ike or pastor stephanie Ike was talking about um the power of fasting and so on because i really just needed to understand more because i started fasting around about like two to three dating to two to three months ago that's when i started like fasting and like trying to draw much more closer to god and like just trying to hear what the lord has to say about me about my life and so on i felt like he led me into this isolation season and yeah uh, yeah I, I started like getting the idea of doing the extra fast and i was just like i have never fasted before so Esther fast uh, that that sounds crazy I'm, I'm, I cannot do that like what I cannot do that but then I started doing like a three day fast where I go from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. without uh, food but just drinking or I will do a seven day fast or so and all of a sudden I was able to do a complete three day fast um, Esther fast no food no liquids so a lot happened a lot changed um the lord spoke to me whereas i was watching the video that uh pastor stephanie Ike made a lot was happening a lot was happening in my mind a lot was happening around me it's like it was a whole different revelation it was something else learning to discern the voice of the lord learning to understand what the lord is saying right but yeah, let me, let me be honest. Let me be honest. I took a tiny, tiny glass of water after the, after the second day, after the second day, I was up in the night around three thirty and so on. After I completed my prayers and so on, I went back to bed and I, I just, my body was feeling not so good. I wasn't hungry. I wasn't thirsty. But I just felt like my organs were starting to shut in a way I couldn't, you know, my kidneys were hurting, my brain was hurting, my eyes were hurting. I felt like my veins were hurting and so on, right? But then I was like, Lord, I don't understand. Because even when I got up at three, when I was praying, Lord, I, I'm good. I felt like I'm good. I felt like, hey, I'm on top of this. But now that I came to bed, I feel like this. And there was just this voice talking, talking, this voice talking, take a little bit of water. I'm like, no, no, I already completed two full days. I'm not going to do this. I completed two full days without water, without food. I will not do this. And I will like, just like shut it off and try to get back to sleep. And the voice was just like very, very persistent. And I'm like, oh, Leo, but just get out of your own thoughts. But I'm like, but it's not my voice, so to say. It felt, it felt like someone was talking to me. And all of a sudden, when just as I'm laying there in bed, trying and struggling to go back to sleep or to get back to sleep, 
um, another voice came again. It's actually the same voice. And it said, daughter, I heard your cry. Yeah, sorry. Oh my God. The voice said, daughter, I heard you cry. Now take a little bit of water and go to bed. And so I got up because I knew that I couldn't possibly say that. So I got up and I went to the kitchen. I took a little glass of water and then I drank and then I went back, I lay down and then all of a sudden I just like, my whole body felt like it was just like recharged. I just fell asleep immediately, right? Okay, and then I completed my three day fast. Oh my God. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I completed my three day fast. So after that, as I'm, I started like dreaming, I am dreaming and I am dreaming like a dream after a dream, maybe visions. I don't know. God, God help me. And I don't understand. And I will get up and I'll pray like, Lord, what is this that you're showing me? What is this that you're saying to me? It, it literally doesn't make sense. It, it, it was like the Lord was just revealing a lot of things, things I don't understand. And it was like getting too overwhelming and in my mind, I was like, oh, I don't know who to talk to. I don't know what to say because it doesn't make sense. So what I usually do every time when I get up, I record my dreams. If if I had a dream, I'll record it so that I don't forget about it, right? And so this happened like a night ago where I had a dream I didn't understand and all of a sudden while i was asking the lord like lord so i didn't understand this dream and that as i pray to the lord lord reveal to me what you're saying it doesn't make any sense for me to go talk to any other person because you are the present uh the present help in you know in times of need you are the one showing me these things you are the one that can explain this better to me <clears throat> teach me how to discern your voice so that i i I, I do exactly what you want me to do and the Lord led me to this video that popped up by the same um, pastor, Pastor Stephanie Ike, where she was talking about uh, dreams. I was I'm, uh, like this is it one the here. spirit of God or is it something else? That everything we do must flow in his presence when we bring our dreams and the visions and the things that God has put in our heart in right. his presence before. Right. So, in the morning, I was just getting emotional and emotional. I'm like, every time I will like start worshiping and praising, I'm just getting emotional. And Pastor Stephanie, aka his name, kept on like popping up because I was like, Lord, I don't want to forget about their dream after, no, I'm... I was like, Lord, I don't want to forget about their dream. And then every time I'm thinking of the dream, her name will pop up like Stephanie Ike dream interpretation. I'm like, it doesn't really make sense because it's a it's a video on YouTube. Obviously, she's not gonna have a case, you know. She's not gonna be talking about my case, and I just need someone to like spit it out for me, like spell it out for me, and tell me exactly what it means. But again, the voice just kept on like popping up. Stephanie Ike, Stephanie Ike. Okay, and so I started watching the video. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> I started watching the video and oh, the Lord, the Lord is amazing. When the Lord tells you to do something, you obey. I wasn't going to record this video, but in the midst of me watching this video on YouTube and crying and pouring out, I'm hearing the voice like record a video and talk about this. And I'm just like, um, no. <laughs> but again, like, listen, when the Lord says you do something, you do something.
because he he knows he knows what you what you don't know he sees what you cannot see and it's it's quite emotional and i just want to tell everyone out there if you feel like the lord is calling you to do something to do a fast or something do it be obedient to the word obedience is better than sacrifice this is something that kept on like popping up as i was starting my fast obedience is better than sacrifice and i was like lord three days without food without water how will i make it but he gave me the strength and he kept on revealing to me that for when i am weak he is strong this verse kept on popping up this is second corinthians chapter 12 verse 10 that says and i'm gonna read that says um my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore i will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that christ's power may rest on me that is why for christ's sake for christ's sake i delight in weaknesses in insults in hardships in persecutions in difficulties for when i am weak then i am strong so meaning that when you find yourself in a place where you you don't know what to do you are so weak you cannot do anything in your own strength just know that in that very same situation god's power will manifest and his glory will be revealed um this kept on popping up to me and it gave me the strength to to keep on pushing during my three-day easter fast and also another verse that kept on popping up that gave me strength was um was was matthew for uh matthew chapter 4 verse 4 that says that um and jesus answered it is written men shall not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of the lord uh that comes from the mouth of god right men shall not live on bread alone so every time when i find myself like oh, thinking about food like maybe okay how about you just like eat something because it was pretty hard imagine I had to cook for my family like i had to prep food lunch dinners and i cannot eat anything nor drink anything and it was a, it, it was pretty hard and i was tempted to just try out stuff but no i couldn't because i knew that if i do that then i'll be submitting to you know i'll be submitting to my flesh and you gotta sacrifice something for the lord you gotta give up something bigger you you gotta feel the pain of putting yourself last decreasing and then just inviting god to take over and doing something for the glory of god that's um that's what i did and the end result is just my god i don't know <laughs> I, I cannot put it into words. I'm just trying to encourage anybody out there. If you feel like the Lord is calling you to do a fast or to do something, it doesn't have to be a fast. But if you feel like the Lord is calling you to draw nearer to him, you obey, you do it because you do not know why he is doing that. You didn't create yourself. You didn't give yourself the breath that you have in your lungs. No, he did all that and he he, and if he's telling you to do something, you do it because he knows why he's doing that. He sees what's ahead. You don't know. He's, he's, he's a wise. He, he, he's mighty. He, he's God. He knows everything and he knows your future, right? So, I'm, listen, guys, listen, guys, obey the voice of the Lord. Obey the voice of the Lord obey the lord and he will strengthen your paths like just just do it this is exactly what i wanted to share with you guys um i really hope this video will bless someone out there i really hope so by god's grace <music>